hey friends welcome back to my channel um today i'm doing this look here honestly it's not my favorite look i've ever done but it worked out okay and just go with the flow right this is the look today hey friends welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing this look here which is like a simple smoky like natural everyday kind of get ready with me today i use this shade from ColourPop called tassel i'm not sure if this is still available on the website but it's like a bright white kind of shimmery shade if you can see that there so yeah if you want to see how i got this look and like me using tassel and just some other things that um I use pretty frequently in my makeup collection that I enjoy, then please keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm back in Will's bathroom. Today I'm wearing my cute little meshy satin two-piece set. How cute. You might have seen this a while ago on my channel. Um, I got these when Meshi had that little like slumber event. It was so cute. Thank you, Laura, for taking me. I had such a cute time. I have a vlog up of that. I have a vlog up on my channel of that if you'd like to see that. Anyway. I'm gonna do my makeup today. Um, I'm gonna be using the, what's this? L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I've had this previously and um, I've repurchased it because it's just it's just a good foundation. I actually really rate this one. It's buildable, it's kind of got like a natural, I don't wanna say dewy finish because it's not wet looking, but it's like a more natural like satiny finish and it's just a great shade. Like this shade here is, I think it's 2N Vanilla. Yeah, it's 2N Vanilla, and it just works well with my skin tone. It's got a nice yellow undertone. They have a really good range in the L'Oreal True Match range, so um, you're sure to find something that suits your skin tone. I'm just popping this all over my face with um, this like buffing brush from Real Techniques. I'm sorry, guys, all my brushes are dirty at the moment, so today you'll be watching me use a ton of dirty brushes. I'm sorry, it's just because I haven't cleaned them, but they aren't like really, really old dirty brushes, if you know what I mean. It's not like they're like six weeks old i haven't cleaned my brushes like i use them and then i just haven't cleaned them recently but they're not like crusted and ancient anyway i'm just buffing this all over the face i should take it down the neck a little bit um also sorry if you can tell that my skin tone on my body and like my neck and stuff is really patchy at the moment because um i faked hands a while ago it's like ages ago now it's up on my channel like the day i faked hand i posted it so you know, however long ago I posted my fake tanning tutorial or like fake tan with me video, that's how long ago I fake tan. So my fake tan is very old, it's ancient, and that's why it's like patching off. I just haven't gotten around to exfoliating it off yet. Also, my hair looks kind of janky. It's just a little bun I thought I'd leave it up for getting ready and then I can take it out when I'm done. Okay, let's bronze face a bit. Today I'm using um, one of my really old bronzes that I've had for ages. Um, this one, yeah. This is the one from Bourjois, and it is the bronzing powder. And I've hit major pan because I've had it for ages. I'm going in with this fluffy brush that I always use, um, and I'm actually going to use my finger to scratch the bronzer off the side of the pan because I just always get hard pan with this bronzer. So I'm just going to be scratching off a bit, then dipping my brush into that, and really like going in for it. This bronzer isn't that dark on my skin tone, and especially since I'm like fake tanned ish on my body right now. Um, I'm going to try and bronze up the face a bit. In summer, this tanning, bronzery kind of colour, when I'm tan in the summer, is kind of like my skin tone. Also, sorry, you can hear the vacuum in the background. My boyfriend's just like cleaning his like desk area. Anyway, um, yeah, so when it's summertime, usually I go in with this bronzer literally all over my face and like pretty much set my face. It's kind of like a lighter coverage bronzer. Like it's not as... Um, pigmented pigmented and so like see how it's like kind of everywhere there I could just kind of blend it out and it kind of just smooths over the face I actually really like that like it's a very nice easy smooth bronzer just to like dust everywhere and it kind of just sets everything without like really really bronzing it um but yeah I'm just gonna pop some on the forehead as well um I kind of go like here here and under as well just like blend it into like the neck and stuff especially since I'm like fake tanned at the moment I I want to try and blend out my neck. My neck gets the patchiest fastest because um, like I wear makeup pretty often and so when I remove my makeup um, it removes the fake tan from my neck in like patchy ways. Um, so that's why out of all my fake tan the neck goes first but that's okay. It just means I need to exfoliate it off. Once I exfoliate one area though the whole body has to like be exfoliated so it's kind of a task. Anyway I'm just going to bronze my forehead I'm happy with the way this is looking. 
Um, it's finally a sunny day. I haven't filmed in a bit because um, I've been to my boyfriend's house and I've been waiting for a sunny day to film um, because it's been cloudy here and I don't have like my lighting set up here with me. Um, I have to wait for a sunny day. Otherwise, when I film on a cloudy day here, it's not that good. It's, it's just really cloudy. It's not... I don't know, this camera that I film on is just my phone's front facing video camera and so if I don't um, have good lighting, the video quality is like very poor unless there's actually good lighting so I have to wait for good lighting to be able to film otherwise, I don't know, it'll, it'll look kind of bad and I feel bad to like upload too poor of a video. I'm just blushing my face by the way with this bourgeois um, number 43, Coral Temptation. Oh, Coral Temptation, sorry, I was reading like the French and I was like, Huh? Anyway. Oh, I forgot to bronze my nose a bit. I just pinched the bronzer brush and just trace it down the sides of my nose. I'm not contouring my nose, but I'm bronzing it. I'm just giving it a little colour. See, that makes me feel better. That makes me feel more bronze, more complete. Um, I went in everywhere with the blush. The blush brush that I used is this duo fibre little face brush from Real Techniques. Um, what is next? Let's do some eyeshadow. Okay, I kind of know what I want to do for eyeshadow today, um, but I just gotta find a little eyeshadow put that I'm using. I want to use one of my ColourPop ones in the shade Tassel. Yes, here you are. It's kind of like a brighter, whiter shade. Here it is. It's really fun. It has all these shimmers through it. Um, and I'm gonna be using also the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette that I use often. I'm gonna grab. This brush here, this is, I think it's called a shading brush from Real Techniques. It's just like a shading eye brush. I'm going to go in with the bronzer shade from this palette and take that through the crease. Do I have any? No. The only mirror I have over here is the mirror that's in my blush. I could go over my, I'm in the bathroom obviously, there's a big mirror right next to me. But I can't set up my phone over there, otherwise it will have really wacky lighting. Just because like... The mirror is not the same direction as the window, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do for you guys to be able to see. So I'm just blending that bronzer all over the lid, just as like a nice base, transition, creasy kind of shade. I just love using bronzer as like eyeshadow. Next I'm going in with, let's go with maple syrup, just the shade here. It's the one in the middle on the top row, dark matte brown. And I'm going to take that through the crease again. This is not going to be a crazy different look to most of my other looks. I'm just using some different shadows today. Um, how are you guys? What's new for you? We're in lockdown, so um, I haven't left my boyfriend's house like all week. I've been working from home, which has been really good. Well, it's not my favorite, but you know, I'm fortunate that I can work from home. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, and yeah, I haven't left in ages. The only times I left is, oh, to get my COVID vax, which I'll tell you about. And I also, I'm going to go in with this shade Cup of Joe over here, which is the middle shade in the bottom row. Um, and it's kind of a shimmery, darker brown, but it's not that shimmery. Anyway, um, yeah, I left here to get my COVID vax. And I also have left a couple of times to go to the supermarket. And that is it. That's all the times I've left the house. Um, no cheer this week, which was sad, um, but that's okay. Hopefully lockdown ends eventually and we can go back to life, but um, got to do what you got to do. Um, I got my COVID back. Let me tell you about it. It was fine. It hurt a little, like nothing actually. Um, the guy that did it was really good. Um, and he just stuck it right in and it was done. And I was like, wow, that was really easy. I've had flu vaxes that have hurt more than that. And then I didn't have any reaction, barely hurt, went home. A couple of hours later, and like the next day, my arm was sore, like maybe more sore than a flu vax. I don't know, I can't even remember my other flu vaxes. But like, not a big deal. And then my arm's still a little bit sore. It's Friday at the moment, I got my vax on Tuesday, so. Um, but that's about it. I wasn't sick. You know, some people, I hear that they get sick from the vaccine. I didn't get sick, I didn't get any issues. I was a spring chicken. I was, I was fine. It was really fine for me, so happy that that worked out. That was my first vaccine. I had the Pfizer, so I have to go back for part two in a little bit. Um, between like 21 days and six weeks, I think is the norm. I'm going in with tassel now. I'm going to take it on my ring finger and pat that over the center of my mobile lid. 
oh it's so pretty it's like a bright white shade I might want to blend this though to the outer crease because I don't want it to be too bright in the middle I feel like sometimes that looks a bit weird on my eye shape like I want to blend here just so that it blends into the smokiness otherwise when it's like too defined at the front sometimes I feel like it can look a little bit weird you anyway, know yeah that's my vaccine story wasn't that exciting but I was excited to get vaccinated because you know opens the world back up um, I'm just patting this over my other eye I'm just really tucking it on and then blurring it through the um, front inner corner I feel like my fingers like struggle to get into my inner corner so usually I use a brush for this but I don't know I just felt like going with my finger kind of makes like a fun I don't want to say messy look but like it's a bit messy let's be real anyway let's blend that a bit You can always use like a clean finger to blend as well. This ColourPop formula is really like workable, so it's nice and soft and easy to like figure out in my opinion for the shimmers. I don't know, I don't have any mattes from this range though, so I can't speak on the mattes, but I find the shimmers like pretty easy to work with. They're just like a nice little topper. See, that's done. Um, I'm gonna go in with some liner and I'll pop on some mascara and I'll do my brows off camera just cause like, Line the lashes brows, you know how that's gonna look, and then I'll come right back. Okay, I just realized I should have sat in the bathtub for that whole video because this is a better view. It's fine, I'm gonna do my brows on camera because I thought, why not? I'm using this e.l.f. little brow kit that I haven't really shown you guys that much of yet. I got it kind of recently, and so this is how I use it. I just kind of go in with both shades um, and mix them together and use them on my brows um i go in primarily with the darker shade on the tail of my brow i'll show you what i mean like this because i don't really have a tail on my brow um and then i just use the remaining excess on the brush and like kind of work that through the front of the brow any sparse areas a sparse area like over here for me so i fill that in and then also there's like a little dip in my brow there so i fill that in there see that looks a little bit more filled in on this brow there's so many holes there's one under the main area there and then there's one at the front of my brow there. So I just kind of work the brow pomade waxy stuff through those areas to try and even it out a bit. And then the other side of the brush isn't angled. So there's an angled side of the brush and there's like a curved side of the brush. I go in with the curved side and grab the powder on that and then dust this over like the back of the brow and work it towards the front of the brow. Just to kind of like fill in the whole thing. And I kind of feel like that works out for me. So that's what I've been doing with this little brow kit from e.l.f. It was really affordable and you know what? It does the job. See, those are some brows. Also, when I went up to the mirror and saw like, I don't know how unblended my makeup really was. I was like, Oops. <laughs> but whatever, I'm sure you guys don't mind. Also, there's this pimple on my chest. I'm just gonna try and cover it with a bit of foundation. I don't know. He wasn't invited. He was definitely a he. Um, by the way, this outfit, I realized, is actually very Laura. Like, these earrings and necklace. This necklace was a gift from Laura, so thank you, Laura. And then Laura and I went to this MeshQ event together. So, Laura, if you're watching this, shout out to you, Queen. We have so many fun times together, and um, I love you. Um, I bought these earrings to match the necklace she got me because I love it so much. She's so good. She knows me so well. She knows what I love. I'm going with some highlight now. This is the shade Candlelight Rosy Glow from Too Faced. It just looks like this. It has a pinky side and like a more champagne -y white side. I'm just going to pack this on because I love highlight. Um, I'm going to go in on the like cheekbone area with this. I'm also going to pop some on um, my nose and like my brow bone in a sec as well. But I'll show you that as well. Um, the reason I'm using the same brushes because I don't really have that many brushes here at my boyfriend's house. And um, this brush, it does the job, it doubles doing both um, blush and highlight since they're kind of in similar-ish areas. So I'm just using my little ring finger again and I'm going to take this and brush it up on my brow bone. Blend, blend, blend a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, who cares. I'm just popping on a face for the Friday. It's my Friday face. I'm gonna take it down the center of the nose just because I love to highlight the nose. You know, one time there was this girl in high school, she's like, I mean, your nose is too big to highlight. I don't care, I love highlighter. It made me stop wearing highlight on my nose for a while and I was like, no, I really like the way highlight looks on my nose. So I've gone back to it. Sorry to that girl who thought it was too big for my nose. I don't care. I like it, it's my nose anyway, so. 
you know, ooh, I just hit some major pan on this highlight. It's like crumbling because I'm using it. Um, gonna pop it on my like, what's this? Like forehead above my brow bone. I love putting highlight everywhere. So I'm just gonna pack it on because I like to. And that's all the highlight areas. Um, I wanted to add some concealer just under my eyes. Um, I feel like I really, really need it just because like I feel like a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna go dab, dab. I should have done that in the beginning, but it's okay. I'm sure my face won't mind too much that I'm doing it in a wrong order. I'm gonna grab my ring finger again. I've just like cleaned it off on my leg. I'm just going to tap this concealer in and around my like, nose area. Yeah, so this does make a difference. I'm just gonna tap, 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 take it up through here. Just tapping and patting. I don't want to take it too high up because I don't want it to like disturb the shadow that we put on, but just this under eye area and up here underneath the wing. That's all I'm going to take it. I feel like it brightened a little bit. Add a little something. You could set that if you wanted. I'm not going to today, but um, you know, I'd recommend some like loose setting powder. You don't have to set your concealer every day though. Like this probably won't move a ton. I actually really like this concealer. I forgot to tell you which one I'm using. It's the one that matches the foundation I used today. I like to get um, foundation and concealer at the same time just because like, I feel like they're a matching set. Um, the concealer I'm wearing is the one from um, L'Oreal and it's the two match concealer in the shade 2 and vanilla as well. So these two, they go together as like a little set. Um, yeah, I just like to buy the matching concealer with each foundation. It usually works out. It's not always perfect. Like sometimes I buy the matching concealer and I hate the concealer or sometimes I buy the matching foundation and concealer and I hate the foundation or something. But you know, usually it works out. Um, I'm looking outside right now and I can see Rainbow Laura keeps climbing up a bottle brush tree. Oh, this hair tie has stretched out so much. I feel like every time I use these hair ties, they're like, they stretch out. Anyway, let's find my center parting. There she is. I wanna put on some lip product because I feel like my lips are really bare right now. I'm gonna pop on some lip balm first. This is just an EOS, I think it's Sweet Mint. I don't know, the green one, or like minty looking teal shade. I've had this one for a while, so I can't really remember, but it has like a minty kind of taste. And I'm gonna pop on some kind of warm tone lip balm, not lip balm, liquid lipstick, just because I've been feeling like this look is a bit cool tone for me and I wanna warm it up a little bit. So this lipstick is from the Samantha Jade collaboration she did with Models Prefer. Oh, it smells like cookies to me. It's just delicious. And I'm just gonna take this and Pop a bit on my lip and then smooth around. Because if you like cover your whole lip in the liquid lipstick, I feel like it's quite thick. Whereas if you smooth it around and like blot off the excess, it gives like kind of, I don't want to say a lip blush effect because it's still liquid lipstick, but it's like not as thick. Anyway, I'm going to clean off my fingers because they're covered in liquid lipstick now. I really went in. And then I'll show you the completed look, which is about this anyway. So it's not all too crazy different. Also, check out how cute my brushes look in this little, this is my um, Little Miss Princess cup and it's where my brushes live at my boyfriend's house and I just think she's so cute. Anyway, that's all. Here we are. This is a completed face that I'm going to wear today. Thanks for getting ready with me. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I upload very frequently and I'll catch you next time. Peace. So yeah, here's the completed look. This is the outro. Here's a little close-up of how it came out. It's not the worst. Um, I should not be so critical. Love you lots, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!